Hi, this is Kat with Beta Halik, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a looped climbing rope bracelet. Now I use the word looped because you're gonna create a loop that is gonna fit over this arrowhead finding right here. So to do this, what we're gonna need today is we're gonna need a really good pair of scissors. You're gonna need a caliper to help measure the millimeters, a ruler, we're gonna need some E6000. We're also going to be using a lighter, so please be careful. I also have some scotch tape here, a little bit of black Eslon, you can use whichever color you like, and I have climbing rope. Now, just to give you a good idea, when you order the climbing rope from betahalik.com, you're going to get this whole package. This is one lot of our climbing rope, so you'll notice that you'll be able to make several different bracelets. So, just to get started here, let's go ahead and look at what I've done here. Now again, like I said, you're gonna end up creating a loop out of one whole piece of the climbing rope. So this is just one piece that I've run up and around and I've tied the s -lon around there. So let me go ahead and show you how to do it. And one thing that is very important with this project is the measurements. So today I'm going to show you how to make a seven inch bracelet as you can see, I've put it on the mandrel here, and that's the size that we're gonna make. Even though when you lay it out, it's going to feel like it's much longer, and that measures about nine inches. But take away the loop so there's room for the clasp, you're looking at about eight inches. The good thing about this is that when you are measuring, you can always leave a little bit extra and sort of cut down as you need to as you're measuring it for your own wrist. We certainly do give you plenty of climbing rope so you don't need to be stingy with your measurements. So let's get started. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to measure out my climbing rope. So by taking one end, the measurement to get a seven inch bracelet is you're going to be using 16 and a half inches of climbing rope. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure this out. And that's 15 inches. I'm just gonna move my measurement. So 16 and a half. So now I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to take my tape. And this is just to help guide my measurement. Also to help make sure that I don't fray my rope. So there's my 16 inch 16 and a half inch mark. I'm going to put my tape down and use this as a guide to now cut my rope. So go ahead and take your scissors. And again, like I said, you're gonna want a really good pair of scissors and you're gonna start to cut. Now you'll notice you kind of have to saw through a little bit. Hopefully your scissors are maybe a little sharper than mine, but just be patient. You don't want it to fray too much. And you'll notice that there's actually a little bit of a core to these guys. Now, if you've worked with paracord, it's actually very similar to that. So go ahead and just give it a little trim and trim, trim that up. And then you're going to take your lighter, again, like you do in paracord, and you're just going to sort of burn the ends and just melt them a little bit, just to give that a really nice, solid, no fray end. Okay, if you are working with a lighter, please do be very careful and in just a minute or two, it'll be cool to the touch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half. And the best way to do this now is to test the size you want. So you can go ahead and place your end cap on. I'm not using any glue at this point. So go ahead and put your end in there and you can close that up and kind of Judge the size. You can either try it on or you can use a mandrel if you like. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just line up my ends. You can keep them in the end cap if you like, but what I'm gonna do is line up my ends and judge. See how I did on this one? I judged how far I needed the hook. So I'm just gonna hold it with my fingers and pinch about, let's see, it's about two inches, one and, one and three quarters, two inches, down to where I think I'm gonna need my hook. So now that hook's in nice and easy. There will be enough tension to hold it into place and it can slip out. So that I think I'm happy with that. So now I'm gonna take my Eslon and what I'm gonna do first is without cutting it, go ahead 
and mark off where you want to start your wrapping. So I just tie an overhand knot and pull it tight. Let's see, it's a little closer to two inches. I wanna move it up a little. There we go. About one and three quarters of an inch, and I'm happy with that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie another knot, just up and over, just another knot, not any kind of special knot, just to secure that into place. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start wrapping. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your E6000 and just put a little bit on the cord moving this way, only as far as you want to do your wrap. So just a little bit, just a little dab, just to kind of keep it in place there. And just a little bit on both sides. Remember, not too much. This is just to kind of hold it. Close up your glue. And now we're going to begin wrapping. This is my, my small tail, so I'm just gonna tuck that down in between and I'm going to start wrapping. Notice I haven't put any glue on what will be the front of the bracelet, just because I want that to be nice and smooth. And just get it nice and tight there. Keep good tension. And you'll notice I haven't cut my Eslon because I'm not sure exactly how far I want to wrap this and how much Eslon I'm going to use. So just keep wrapping. and you want it to be nice and smooth. You'll notice the glue's kind of coming through the S on there. Don't worry about that. You'll be able to kind of pick that off later. It won't show through, I promise. Okay, so one last wrap, and I'm gonna come around and make sure you're finishing on the back. Now this tail that I've left is sort of coming down through the bottom here. You'll notice there's the glue. You can just pick that off, see? Now, go ahead and cut your s -lon. So what you're gonna do now is you're going to tie another knot using these two end cords here. And again, it's just a simple overhand knot, nothing fancy. And tie that knot and then go ahead and double knot it. And now take your E6000. And what you're gonna do is you're going to sort of spread the cord here. And what you're gonna do is kind of tuck that down in there. And you'll see that it separates just a smidge. Go ahead and get a little bit of glue in there. Just a little. You can also use a little toothpick to kind of get that in there. And it's nice and hidden. And you just sort of tuck it under with your finger. That way you won't be able to see it. And again, once that glue dries, you'll be able to just pick that right off there. So, but that's the front side. It's nice and clean because we didn't put any glue there. And this is the back side now or the side that will face your wrist. Go ahead and let this dry, and when it does, you're gonna wanna clip the tails here, but go ahead and let it dry, that way it'll get a nice setting in there. So now that it's dried and I've clipped my ends, we're going to add on the clasp. Again, taking your E6000, you're gonna go ahead and add a good, good dollop inside the recess here. And you can see that I actually added a fair amount of glue because I really want this to have a really nice hold to it. So go ahead and take your two ends. Make sure that when you add the clasp that this part is facing your front. So go ahead and place one end in there. Get that nice and tight. And add the second end. And just go ahead and smoosh that down and go ahead and let that dry completely. But just to show you how it's going to look when you're all finished, you can go ahead and close up your bracelet, 
slip the loop over, and that is how it will look when it is nice and completed and dried and ready to wear. But again, do let it sit overnight before you do try to wear it. Now these are the instructions for a seven inch bracelet. And I, as you saw, I cut 16 and a half inches. If you wanna go for a longer bracelet or a smaller bracelet, you can adjust your measurements. This is how much <laughs> we have left over from just making one bracelet. So you will have plenty of room. So again, don't be stingy with those measurements. Make sure that if you want to finish off your lot so it's ready to go next time, just make sure to burn those ends with that lighter. Please be sure to take off the tape before you do so, but this will be all set and it won't fray, so if you wanna put this away for a while and then come back to it, you're welcome to do that. But there you have it. That is how to make a looped climbing rope bracelet. And you can find all the supplies to make this project at bitaholik.com.